Hi, my name's Ed. Welcome to Ed Explains English. Life in the UK. Ah, home sweet home. Yes, it's nice to go away, Judy, but it's always great to be home. An Englishman's home is his castle. Well, it's a shame my Englishman's castle is an end of terrace home. There is nothing wrong with this place, my dear. We have a front and back garden with a lawn that rivals Wimbledon's tennis courts. Which me and the kids are not allowed to walk on. Well, with a park nearby, why would you want to? Besides, anything is better than the first apartment we had. You can say that again. What a pokey place that was. Couldn't even swing a cat in there. We didn't even have a cat. It's an idiom, Ed, which means it was very small. Do you remember the awful landlord we had? What was his name? Mr Snow. You always used to say, Oh no, here comes Snow. Oh yes, I remember now. He used to say, Rent money. Never a polite good morning. We weren't allowed to have pets, so we had to hide the dog in the bedroom wardrobe. Yes, that was funny. Apart from that, we were good tenants. The rent was cheap too. So much so, we were able to save money for a deposit on this place. Tough times, but at least the bank gave us a mortgage. We were homeowners at last. We even had enough money to furnish the place. You've always been very house proud, Judy. Even if it is just an end of terrace, you are happy here, aren't you? Well, I have had my eye on a little bungalow in the village where your parents live. Really? You said that you would never live too close to them. I know, but I think I'd prefer living in a rural area after living in an urban area all my life. Even though our neighbours are lovely, the neighbourhood where the bungalow is located is much quieter. No barking dogs. What, do you mean our dog? He's the noisiest dog around here. Another thing, Ed, the bungalow has a driveway. You wouldn't have to wash the car on the road anymore. Well, I would welcome that. I guess I should call up Mr Dixon, our estate agent, so he can put our house on the market. Would we have to have one of those for sale signs in our front garden? What would the neighbours say? People will find out soon enough anyway. You know how nosy neighbours can get. Look, I can see Mabel's curtains twitching. I bet she's an expert lip reader. Oh, Ed, you read too many spy novels. Let's go in and have a nice cup of tea. This is still our home for now. Yes, Judy, and home is where the heart is. Visit Instagram and Facebook where you can find complimentary vocabulary for this and our other videos. Please like, comment and share this video with your friends, as well as subscribing. Thanks for watching. Doodle pip!